Hey everybody, in this video we are going to go over Open Broadcaster software, otherwise known as OBS. We're going to go over how you can record gameplay from your computer. Now the best part about this software is that it's completely free and extremely easy to use. Now first things first, you'll want to set up a profile and just hit profile and new. And for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and name this how to record. And then we're going to go into our settings by clicking settings and then settings there. And you're going to see that our profile is now loaded in there. Now first you'll need to adjust the encoding settings and you can do that by going to encoding and you'll see that it defaults here to x264 which is fine because it's just a video codec that it's going to use. Now you can actually leave everything as is and get a decent video. Now what I like to do since we are recording locally is go ahead and uncheck CBR and the quality balance here allows you to now adjust this. The higher the number the better your quality of video that you're going to get. The higher the number also requires a little bit better computer. So the stronger and faster your computer is, the higher number you can go. And if it's not completely up to par, you can feel free to drop that just a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and put that on 10 for ourselves. Now the max bit rate is generally reserved mostly for live streaming, although it does definitely affect your local recording. Since we do some live streaming and other stuff, we've just kind of come up with a default of 3500 that we use. Now the higher number you can go on recording, but that is going to affect any of your editing software. I'll let you look up the information up there. If you plan on doing anything other than uploading to YouTube or anything like that, you can find all that information online as far as your max bit rate. Again, you could have left that at a thousand, but we're going to go ahead and bump that up a little bit since we are recording at 1080. Audio encoding, you can leave pretty much everything as is. However, you can also adjust the bit rate there, and we'll go ahead and bump that up to 128. And before you can change windows, go ahead and hit apply. Broadcast settings. Now you can switch the mode directly over to file output only, and then you can adjust the file path to where you want your recordings to save. Next up, and we'll go ahead and hit yes there, is your video settings. Now leave everything as is for your base resolution. That's going to be pretty much everything that you're already running. Your video adapter will generally be your video card or whatever you have in place to record uh, for your video. Now the resolution downscale. Depending on if you plan on uploading, I did this for a long time before I got a little bit faster uh, upload speed, is I wanted to reduce the file size and I was content with 720. Now you can downscale to 720 and that way when you go into your editing software that it's already scaled there. Uh, I am leaving this currently at 1080 but you can certainly downscale. That allows you to change the filter here. Now, depending on the quality that you want, you can change between the filters here. I'll let you choose depending on your computer speed there. Frames per second. If you do plan on uploading to YouTube, they cap at 30 anyways. However, if you plan on doing different stuff, different video editing, you can certainly go ahead and bump that up to 60. We'll go ahead and apply those changes. Audio, your desktop audio device, you can adjust there depending on what you're using. However, your microphone is where it's at, and since we are using a blue snowball, we'll go in there. In the drop down, find that. And if you need to boost any of your microphone settings, you can go in here, and that's just going to be you know, you record something, you find out where your level is. I highly recommend doing some test recordings so you can, you know, see the audio uh, or see the video and check the audio and different stuff that way. We'll go ahead and apply that. Hotkeys is important, especially if you're doing gameplay. You don't want to be able to tab out or have to click on another monitor to, to start and stop video, especially if you plan on doing several small clips or starting and stopping at various points. You can just kind of click in there and we'll do something like Control Shift 1 and Control Shift 2. And now you can see we have our start and stop recording and you can set that up to pretty much whatever you want. We'll apply that. Advanced. Now the custom encoder settings you can change here there's more information online and if you want to check that out you can certainly use that we're going to use the constant frame rate here with use CFR and leave that as is again there's more information if you want to find out about that quick sync encoder nothing there important microphone noise gate you might need to change this depending on how you're set up as far as your recording I personally had to but again feel free to do some test recordings figure out where you're at and set all that up okay so that was it for the settings and now all you need to do is add a scene and a source and you're good to go. It's that simple. Now we already have a couple scenes in place but we'll pretend that there's nothing there and under the scenes section you're just going to right click in the box and hit add scene. 
Now, continuing the trend, you can name this whatever you want, just something that's, that you'll remember it by. We'll go ahead and set this up as how to record. And you're going to see I no longer have sources. I have different sources for my different scenes. Now, if you're setting up brand new, now you've got a brand new scene. Now, you can easily right-click in the sources, click Add, and then hit any the Window Capture, Monitor Capture, Game Capture, any of that stuff, and you're going to see that you can name it. If you plan on doing more, if you plan on you know streaming, you can have an overlay, you can have a webcam, you can do all kinds of different stuff. I would recommend setting it up under Global Sources. Now you just click on that, and you're going to see that we already have a couple global sources set up. But pretend nothing's here. You can hit Add, and since we're doing a game capture, you can hit Add Game Capture, and we'll call this Diablo 3 Test, since we already have one called Diablo 3, and you hit OK, and it's going to go ahead and you can select the application. Now you're going to see in the drop down here all the windows that you have open. It'll give you an option to choose those and you'll see Diablo 3 right here. We can go ahead and click on that and then just hit OK. We'll go ahead and hit OK here now that we've got that added to the global sources and it's still not added there. So you're going to right click under sources, scroll over to add, go down to global source here and you're going to see that our global source is set up and we just hit Diablo 3 test. It defaults to the name that you set up, you just hit OK. And you can uncheck and check this if you want it, depending on all the different stuff that you have going. And we still don't see anything. Now you can start recording, and it'll start recording to the file uh, path that you chose. Or if you want to preview it, you can just hit Preview Stream. Now I have this minimized, so we'll go ahead and open this up. And we'll go ahead and click. And you can see right here that we have this recording, and you've got your preview going right here. And that's it. That is all you need to set up for recording. Now you can easily hit stop preview and you can see it goes away. It's still on our screen. We'll go ahead and minimize that back. And that's all that you need to know for setting up your recording. So that's it guys. That's how you set up Open Broadcaster software to record gameplay on your computer. As you can see it was extremely easy to set up and now you can record all the gameplay that you want to either share with your friends, upload to YouTube, edit, do whatever you want to it. Now if you have any questions feel free to leave that below in the comments. If you like the video and you want to let me know what you thought about the video feel free to leave a comment below as well. And if you like the video and you don't have anything to say feel free to hit that like button because that would certainly be appreciated on my end. Also we're going to be doing more tech videos coming up soon so feel free to hit subscribe for more information coming soon. Till next time guys I appreciate you watching. Be on the lookout for more See you next time.